with you The chaos doesn't matter I'm with you You're my happy ever after With you When I'm with you You're my happy ever after Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. We are the Davies. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A, going over a lot of the questions that we've been asked quite a bit over the past few years. We hope you guys enjoy, and we're so happy to let you get to know us just a little bit better. If there's something that you think is pretty unique about your family, we would love for you to share that by putting it down in the comment section below. So I guess we'll start with the first question that we get asked all the time, and it never gets old telling the story. How did how how so how did, did we meet? meet? Um, I don't know if Ariella wants to share her version <laughs> or if I should share the truth. Uh, but would, do you want to start or do you want me to just tell it like it really is? Yeah, you can tell her how it really is. I think, okay. I'll correct you on where you're wrong. Okay. So Ariella and I met on Facebook, and we met because Ariella mistook me for some other guy apparently that looked just like me. And I was really innocent in the situation. I'm like, wow, this girl's pretty. She's so nice. Like, let's see where this goes. Thinking that she's reaching out to me because she generally had some sort of interest or connection to me. Come to find out, apparently, that I looked like someone else. And so apparently, the way we met was by accident on Facebook. Now, you can clarify, but I'm pretty sure that those are the details. Well, let me stop you right there. First of all, <laughs> Facebook suggests friends. And apparently it does. You were under the suggested friends and thank you. We were under no, you were under the suggested friends mm -hmm. and you had over we had like two hundred, some huge number mm -hmm. of mutual friends. And I was like, there's gotta be my, my, my. There, I've gotta know you. There's mm -hmm. gotta be we've gotta be in the same circle of friends or something. Mm -hmm. Which technically um, Technically you thought I was someone else, but it's okay. Technically, I thought it was you. Okay. Alright, we'll let that go. So we met on Facebook. We did go to the same church where we later finally saw each other face to face. Yeah. And so by the time we did meet, we did feel some sort of strong connection just because we did share quite a bit about each other and we knew each other pretty well. So that's how we met. Two kind of different stories, but following the same basic timeline. So another question is, what was my first impression of Ariella? So I'm not gonna do the Facebook impression of Ariella because I'm gonna do the real life impression of Ariella. So I remember that it was, uh, there was like this thing going on, I think it was like a Saturday night mixer or something at our church. And I was talking to like some friends of mine and then I see her and she comes up like, and like literally like time stopped and everybody just disappeared. And I just remember being like, you have one though, you have a cookie. Really stopping and being kind of like in awe, like wow, she's really pretty. Um, and just, okay. Um, and yeah, I was just really taken back. You know, meeting her in person was definitely, that's how I felt when I first met you in person. When I first saw you, when I saw you across the room, I mean, number one, you were surrounded by girls. So I was like, okay. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if he's talking to someone, so I don't want to interfere, but I'll wait till there's a moment and come and say hi. So I did. And the minute that I said hello, you literally just looked at me and just did not take your eyes off of me and I was just so amazed that someone that you could just do that that we were just it just felt like an instant connection mm -hmm. that I I just couldn't explain it I just felt like wow mm -hmm. I really really like this guy you gotta have that effect on people so. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah 
thing with this. So let's go on to Miss Elise. You're next. What do you like about being a big sister? What's your favorite part about it? Hugging Sasa for hours. You like does Sasa always like to be hugged? <laughs> but I wish I could do that. Yeah. Hug her like in trolls they do. They say I wish we could hug every half hour. But Poppy said, Well, that wouldn't leave much time for dancing. Singing. Oh my goodness. Whoa. What are, what kind of games? What do you like no. to play? With her? Like she what? really likes my formulas, but I like when she when I push it down my tower because then it makes a great home for the shops and but today when she pushed down your tower, didn't that your tower were you crying a little bit? Yeah, that was because like I Mom? I Mom? Mom? Well it was because of um, At least, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is... Rainbow. I don't have a favorite Rain color. But... Rainbow, that's awesome. That's all the colors, right? I like rainbow. Good for you. Zinc, what is your favorite color? Zinc. She said your favorite pink. color? <laughs> I think she said pink. You think so? I think so, right. She said What word would we use to describe our family? If you could describe our family in just one ah! word, what word would it be? I think that... Sorry, I'll wipe down the slash. No, don't wipe it on the one. You? Sure. Motherhood, you guys. Nothing. I think that our family is dynamic. We're so polar opposites, both of us, and that transcends to both of them, that mm -hmm. the dynamic between mm -hmm. us is actually pretty interesting. I agree. Yeah. What about you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you could describe our family yeah. in one word, what word would you describe our family? Loving. Loving. That's Generous. Sweet. Generous. I don't know Generous. Really pretty, those are really pretty words. Bye. Um, if I had to describe our family, I think I would describe us as intense. I think that pretty much no matter what's happening, we generally, it's either a level 10 or a level 1. We really don't have much middle ground in the way that we are. So I think we're really intense. Cool. Alright, babe. You wanna, you wanna like this? Is that uncomfortable? Oh, uh, it is when you dig your nail into me. I wasn't trying to. But yeah. it's not... I'll look at you guys, okay? Sage, please don't do that. Does this probably look awkward, do you think? I don't think that should be like that. What about this? Don't do that, Sage. That's not nice. Alright, guys. Alright, Ariella, so... Yeah. Okay, Ariella, so we have a question for you. Can you please share with us your most embarrassing mom moment? Your most embarrassing mom moment. My most embarrassing mom moment. Mom moment. Hmm. Well, Elise's hair got really long, and so I decided that I'm going to cut her hair. I watched some YouTube videos and I thought, totally, this is totally easy, this will be a breeze. So I went over to Target, got some cutting scissors, came home, you know, wet her hair, brushed it out, and did everything that the video said to do. And so then I started cutting, 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 and her hair was still wet when it was done. And so I was like, wow. I think I did it. I mean, there was a lot of hair on the floor. I thought it looked even. Well, her hair started to dry and I got to cooking and everything and then Charles got home and he looked at Elise and he said that something was a little bit off and she was playing on the floor. And I said, oh, you know, I, I gave her a haircut. I thought that that would, that would help. Yeah. Well, I was a little bit choppy and up and down and totally not even It was like that. 
and then I had to come in and do the repair. But yeah, so I got asked what was my most embarrassing. So like right now our kids are literally like throwing things. Yeah, we're trying to stay focused, but honestly, this is really difficult. Recording with kids is not easy. Now she's taking off her shirt. Sage, Sage, we are trying to record right now, okay? Yeah, that's your belly button. Come, come. So you want to talk to us? Okay. Can you chill out? Here we go. So I got asked what my most embarrassing dad moment was. And uh, I'm very... And... You... Can you hold that stick? Sage just tripped over the uh, laptop. So we're going to figure out how to deal with that. So my turn. My most embarrassing dad moment. Oh my goodness. Keep going. Okay, thank you. Don't even tell them you messed up. I'm not. Thank you so much, Liz. Can you stop chewing that apple though? It's so loud. So I guess it's my turn and I'm gonna share my most embarrassing dad moment. So Elise was about maybe six and Sage was about three months old. And No, I was four. Thank you, I appreciate that. Were you four? Five. No, five. Okay guys, I don't even Elise was five, okay, and and um, Sage was a few months old. She was born, and Elise doesn't really like walking at the time. She would, you know, maybe walk a block, and then her ankles would hurt. So I decided, why don't we just pop Elise in the umbrella stroller? We have two, and then we can walk for a longer distance. The sidewalk had actually raised about three inches. So all of a sudden, as we're talking, like first of all, I I feel a jolt, and then I hear like a, a thud. I looked down, Elise had like forward rolled out of the stroller and literally face planted on the concrete. She starts crying, I feel horrible. And she gets up and there's a huge like scrape on her forehead. And we had church the next day, which was even better. And I'm just like embarrassed and very embarrassing moment for me as a dad. Yes? Another question we got was, what is your favorite holiday and why? What is our favorite holiday? At least, do you want to answer one of these? Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell our friends what your favorite holiday is and why? My favorite holiday is uh, Christmas because Ooh. you get to open presents. You get to open presents? Oh, you're leaving? What's your favorite holiday and why? Hmm. Well, I feel like it's like, no, it's Christmas. I love Christmas. I was going to say Thanksgiving, but because we like we literally <laughs> eat the exact same meal from Thanksgiving on Christmas Eve. So yeah, it's the best of both worlds. Christmas. My favorite holiday, yes, it's Christmas. So as you can see, we are a very Christmas-centered family. Hey, what's Mom, up? Mom, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Awesome. <laughs> What is your biggest pet peeve? People who like to pop other people's pimples. I can't stand seeing it, I can't stand watching it, and I cannot stand when anyone and does it you. to me. <laughs> me? <laughs> that's my thing. And Ariella, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh, chewing with your mouth open. No. Oh, literally. My biggest pet peeve is not brushing your teeth. What, when we don't remind you, do you brush your teeth? Oh, and Sage said it too. Sage said no. Oh my goodness! We get asked a lot. Oh and we God. are going to end with this question. Okay. Are... Do we want a boy? <gasps> I want, a, want boy. a boy! I want a boy! You want a boy? Yeah, I want a boyfriend. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's like not, we didn't ask that. We did not ask that, okay? <laughs> no. I need to a second, hold on. I want a boy, a baby boy. A baby boy, a son. Okay, Ariella, mm -hmm. you on the count of three, we're gonna answer it at the same time. I don't even know what you're gonna respond. I don't, I know what I am. On the count of three, okay? One, it's either yes or no. One, two, three. Yes! yes! Two to, oh! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we got two to one, guys. We're getting a boy. <laughs> <laughs> two to tango. Uh.
Guys, it's been so fun sharing more about our family and letting you get to know us just a little bit better. If you like what you saw today, make sure to like and subscribe. And definitely share with your friends and family and pets and anyone and everyone you know. Once again, welcome to the Davey family. We love you guys. Bye.